All right, welcome back guys. So in this video, I'm going to use some Python libraries to work with this data a little bit uh, easier. So I'm gonna close this. We don't need that window open. Um, and I found this this library called PyNemia2. Uh, it seems to be pretty popular with working with GPS data. So it, it's for this NEMA protocol. So this is, when you look at the um, outputs here, these strings are apparently called NEMIA or NMEA. This is just the format um, it's coming out in. Uh, and this is just a Python library for working with it a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, actually, let me show you this, all this information. So you'll notice they have these GPG, GSA, GPG, SV. And, and this is just a little bit more about this specification. So this is just showing us what everything means. So this one is GPRMC. That's this one. And you can see the first it, or the first is just the log header two is UTC. So that's the UTC, uh, wait, GPRMC. Okay. Yeah. Position status is V equals data invalid. So that one's not good. Um, we have latitude long, and you can see here it's like zeros. So that's why that one's invalid. Um, but yeah, that's what this Python library does. It's just working with this, uh, protocol. Um, so if we go back to here, we should be able to go into, um, Python by just typing Python and we should be able to import. Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. We have to install this library. So let me clear this. I'm actually going to install, um, this with Python three. So you notice we don't have pip installed or pip three. So on the Raspberry Pi, we're going to have to install pip. So pip is how we can install Python packages. So I'm just going to clear the screen and we're going to say sudo app dash get install Python three dash pip. So this will just install pip for Python three, which will allow us to install packages. So just run that. And then we're going to install, um, this Pi Nemia 2 package. All right, so uh, pip installed. So I'm going to clear this. And now we should just be able to say pip 3 to make sure we're working with the Python 3 pip because there's, there's Python 2 and 3 on this machine by default. So let's clear that. So we can say pip 3 install Pi Nemia 2. All right, that was fast, so it looks like it worked. So now I can say Python 3. So if you don't know this, if you just say Python, it's going to bring you into the Python 2.7. So I'm just going to exit out of that. If you say Python 3, it's going to bring you into 3. So let's exit this, and I'm going to clear the screen and head into Python 3. So Let's look at this, these instructions here a little bit. So here's a basic example they're showing. So they're just importing import pi nemia two, and they're making this message variable equal to pi nemia two dot parse, and they're giving it a string. So let's grab one of our strings. So I'm going to duplicate this session just so I can get another screen up because we're going to copy one of those strings. So I can say raspberry. All right. So I'm going to LS and remember we made this file. So if you just cat that, just copy one of these, um, one of these strings here. So this one looks pretty good. Actually, no, I like this one better because I can see like latitude, longitude in this one. All right. So make sure we put it inside the quotes here. And now just click enter and let's go back to this documentation here. And they're just saying, just print message now. So if we print message, we get more information. It's saying it, it basically makes it a little prettier for us. So we should just now be able to say message dot or dot lat message dot lawn and message dot dot latitude. That's just like a friendlier version. Longitude. Oh, I butchered that one. 
longitude. And there you go. So that's just an easier way to work with it. Um, so that's cool, but it's this example is a little basic. I think it'd be better if we could actually open up that file we made and um, use it that way. So they do have an example here of um, file reading example. So here is an example of how we could open up a file and read it and do something with it. So I'm going to copy this and I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to play with this on my local machine instead of uh, on the Raspberry Pi because I don't feel like coding in Python uh, and testing inside the Raspberry Pi. So I'm just going to open up my editor here and I have PyCharm. And I was experimenting with this a little earlier. So let me close some of this stuff out. And don't mind all this information. I'm just going to make a Python file. Um, call it GPS reader. And I've already installed Pynemia 2. Um, so if, you, if you're following along and you're doing this on your local machine, you're going to have to install Pynemia 2. Um, or if you don't even want to do this, you can just wait until uh, I finish this and have like a working code. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm basically going to fine tune the code on this computer and then bring it, move it over to the Raspberry Pi uh, once it's finished and working. So let's copy these, this example that these guys gave us. And I'm going to paste it in. All right, and now we actually have to get the data. So we're gonna have to make a file on our local machine. So um, I'm going back to the Raspberry Pi and I'm just gonna copy this data here. Let me redo that. So I'm just gonna copy all this and go back to my local computer and go to Notepad++. And I'm just going to open up or just basically save this as a, a text file here. So let's save it on my desktop and just call it uh, like GPS 10 samples dot text. And I'm going to just get the full path to that and paste it in here and put an R in front of it. All right, and let's just try that. Um, that looks good to me. So you can see here, it's getting information. It's saying parse error for the first three, because if you look at the first three, this is like just, I guess, like startup information that happens like when you first start the file. So it's not reading that because it doesn't have this information in it. Uh, but now that it does, uh, we can work with it. So um, that's cool. I think I'm going to cut the video here and in the next video, I'm going to do something a little more useful. I'm going to basically loop through this file and then make a new file that has um, just like the latitude, longitude and time. Um, I don't need like this kind of looks ugly and I want to make a new file that's just cleaner and just has the information I want. Um, so that's what we're going to do in the next video.